Now I'm going to cook beef short ribs in the innocent gun. Apart from using it as a little tipple, it's fantastic for cooking with. And the reason this is good for cooking with is because it's light, it's not too bitter, it's got that slightly caramelly flavour. So what I'm going to do with these is lightly flour them. This firstly helps to colour the meat. And I'm going to make a traditional braise with these. So I'm going to cook them in the beer and some beef stock with some carrots, onions, celery. This is a great dish that you can prepare the day before on the day. But like a lot of braised dishes, you know, they're really great that you can sort of cook them and serve them two days later. Now if you're doing this in the summer, you could add peas and broad beans to it to give it that lovely sort of spring, summery flavour. In the winter, root vegetables. I'm going to serve it with salsify, which is one of those sort of underrated vegetables. It's got the flavour of a sort of parsnip with a kind of turnipy, sort of nutty flavour to it. So traditionally, you know, braised dishes, especially in France, are cooked in red wine. Um, but the French also have that traditional carbonade of beef which is cooked in beer. What I quite like to do with these sort of dishes is add some at the beginning and then just right at the end of the cooking add a little bit just to freshen it up. Now the great thing with the Innocent Gun, apart from drinking it with your food, is the way it actually matches up the food. You know, people don't naturally think about matching um, beer and food together. So that's going to spend about two hours in the oven so that's a good time to sort of have a little beer. Okay, so that's pretty much ready. You, you can tell that that's cooked almost because the, the meat has kind of shrunk and exposed the bone. And what we're really looking for here is the flavour of the soup. So I'm just going to have a little bit towards the end. No, and just put it back on the stove top with some fresh beer just to give it that nice flavour. So that's ready to go now. Okay, now we just put the salsa feed on the top. So that's beef short ribs in the innocent gun. 